Today I will show you how to make this crazy splitting effect. Yo, it's Bovikas here and let's begin. Alright, so here I have a clip of Lil Tekka from one of his new music videos which is called Awa Awa. And now we can instantly jump in and start making the effect. Now, how do we actually make the effect? It is very simple. I have done a pretty similar tutorial on shapes, but this tutorial is going to be specifically on the rectangle tool. So what you can do is if you have a clip that you want, for example, I want this clip right here from Lil Tekka where he's just dancing with a girl or I don't know what he's doing and what I can do is press ctrl d to duplicate the layer and what we can now do is go to the rectangle tool and just cut out the piece we want pretty much uh, what I also like to do is hold shift and now draw like a cube I'll draw it on his face I guess press out to this one and just move his face wherever you want and already you have like a little split it's like a cube now this is a tiny split I will show you like how to do the like the screen splits and I like to hold it for like three to four frames. So now I will go to three frames forward, press control shift D. It will cut this and then press delete. Now, if you like it like this, where it's going just full speed, it's cool. But what I also like to do is I like to press control Y to make a new adjustment layer. And here I like to add posterize time. And I like to make the frame rate to eight. Now, what this will basically do is it will lower our frame rate to eight at this specific clip. For me, it's eight because I had my frame rate at 24 FPS. Now, for you, it might be different. So it will not probably be eight for you if you have like a 30 frames per second. If you have 30 frames per second, make it to 10. Basically, just make it three times smaller. That's what I like to do. And yeah, now we can just do more of these adjustments. And a really quick way to do this, by the way, is you don't need to just press Ctrl D and do duplicate and then make a cube you can also press ctrl to y now this will be a little bit different but you can add the rectangle on the adjustment layer so for example i can hold shift and just draw something right here i can draw something right here draw something right here draw something right here and even here and like just, i'm just drawing random cubes you know and now you can add transform and here you can make the position a little bit different and the scale make it a bit higher hey i'm just doing random adjustments you guys can do what you want oh yeah this would be pretty cool and now we can press ctrl shift d because we need to cut this layer up to the same as this layer or you can actually keep one frame off like this that is also kind of cool this layer you can actually have on top of the poster as time and it will also look kind of cool and yeah, you can just do this non-stop oh yeah by the way i forgot to mention that i will have the project file linked in the description it's completely free you can just download it and just check what i did in the intro if you are wondering but anyways let's get back to the tutorial and if you want that whole split screen effect that you saw at the intro of the video well again there are two ways to make it you can press ctrl to y and here you can go to the rectangle tool and draw like a rectangle i'm gonna actually scale out a bit like this like, like a quarter pretty much and add transform and you can again position this however you want i'll position it actually like this a bit to this point this is what i kind of like to do and i like to make the scale here to like 112 maybe actually we can position it even more yeah, yeah, yeah like that as you can see it looks like displaced we can actually add this on top of this one frame that we had left over but it will not be on here and we can go one two three press ctrl shift d delete now we can also press ctrl y and add another adjustment layer and here uh, we can also draw a rectangle right around here add transform and here make the position go into him as well like that and make this kill go up a bit you can also make this go a bit up like that so we can see two of the girls remember to cut them up by pressing ctrl shift d around both the corners and i'll press ctrl y again and sure i'll okay i'll show you what you can do you can also add another rectangle tool so yeah add transform pretty simple and then just scale it up like this and you can draw this one like out oh we can actually hold this for like a couple of more frames so it will look like this basically look so yeah that is looking pretty cool we can take the below one we had right here press ctrl shift d and i actually want to play around with this a bit more so what you could do is now you could take it like this up for these next three frames and it will kind of split out like that i really like how that looks one thing i also like to do is i like to add s flicker to the layer we added the poster at time on and let's make it go up and i like to make the amplitude kind of high like 0.4 now s flicker does require the sapphire plugin so you don't have to do this and another little trick you can do without using this flicker or you can also have it on is you can press ctrl to y and add x 
exposure. Now make sure this is below your adjustment layers. So I'm gonna actually make it go below even here. And I'll make the exposure like really high. I think this makes the cubes pop up a bit more and you don't need to have this for the full clip you can have it for a couple of the frames so maybe end it right there and i think it will look pretty cool to have it like that and i really love what this little effect does to your text as well so if we were let's say to add like a little text we can press ctrl t and we will see this one we can just press on here and here we can draw like a text so we can call this like split effect i guess wait am i typing that correctly wait effect yeah i will position this to the middle by aligning it scaled up a bit and as you can see it gets all displaced just like that because we add some displacement to the middle that's why it's getting displaced but i'm adding it below everything that's why you can see it getting displaced like this and as you can see the text will also get displaced which is amazing if you want to make this text a bit cooler you can make the font a bit different like you can make it mirage gothic which i had in the intro of the video this a free font from the font so you can check from that website out i think text has maybe even the most options and this is like beautiful for tile cards this little effect and not just for that you can use this effect for even transitions or just i've seen it in a lot of new music videos and if you want to make this look a bit even cooler we can go up on every effect we can press ctrl y and we can add cc vignette i like to make the amount a bit higher here on some clips i also like to go and make a new adjustment Layer, add it below the CC vignette and I like to add as blur chroma and I like to make the blur chroma like a little bit higher like this and the blur luminance like this I don't know why I just like to mix it up like this but yeah you will get this look you don't need to add this like yeah hey, just splitting glitching I, I don't know it just looks really cool in my opinion if you want to work around a bit more with text then you can press ctrl t and just say like split split screen uh, I'm gonna position it you can use the pen behind and drag this point to the middle to have it aligned perfectly and let's align it like this so for text you can right click on it go to pre-compose and here just press ok now I'll press ctrl d for safety and here on the text while holding the text little layer you can go to rectangle and here you can just split if you want maybe like this and press p drag it like this a little bit now uncheck that layer and you will see only this now go back to this layer press ctrl d go back to the below layer press m and here go to invert it and press p again and i'll switch back the position to the middle so it was like 960 for me okay, i should go back here we can make it this even go a bit up we can even make this scale a bit higher like that really just mess around like that and yeah you will already have split your text and yeah you can split even the screen so let's go back to the below layer right here and what i do here now is i right click and pre-compose again because we have just masked it and i need to press ok and this will basically kind of like reset the mask i don't know how to explain maybe you guys understood it but it would have been hard to make like an adjustment before and now what we can do is again to go to the rectangle tool and maybe we want to like damage this a bit like this take this out press ctrl d go back to below press inverted and go back here and here we can move this a bit like that maybe we can add fill and we can make the fill to dark that can look kind of cool like that yeah i just had these like mini adjustments you can also press ctrl to y add transform and now grab some cubes and here we can add like a cube here a cube here a cube here and just displace them like this yeah and that would also look really cool for our text and yeah just make so many of these like little adjustments and you will have a really cool text but yeah guys that's about it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways was fun have a fun and productive day see ya